the shine if you don't glow. Hey now, you're an all-star. Get your game on, go play. Hey now, you're a rock star. Get the show on, get paid. I first became aware of the Lincoln Club in 1990 when it was called the Golden Eagles. And Jan Anton was the chair hosting a uh, fundraiser for Senator Pete Wilson running for governor. Ronald Reagan was the guest of honor. It was the first time I had met him. I had my picture taken. I met other Republicans and I became aware of the possibility that in San Diego County we could participate, we could be a part of it, we could contribute, we could support, and we could look forward to uh, unity and working together for uh, the common good that business operators in San Diego all share. I first heard about the Lincoln Club when I got an email from Roxana Fox, who said, um, Bill Otterson, who runs Connect, wants you to come to a meeting of the Lincoln Club uh, in La Jolla. And I thought, well, that's kind of strange. Why, why would Bill Otterson want me to go to a Lincoln Club dinner? So I asked my brother, I said, Ted, what's the Lincoln Club all about? He said, uh, oh, boy. He said, uh, that's a pretty conservative group. And I said, well, I am a conservative. So Bill wants me to go. I'm going to go. The reason the Lincoln Club is here is because, in essence, it's a nonpartisan organization with very traditional principles of free market. It's very interested in conservative thought process as fiscal responsibility and taking a look really at the kinds of issues that represent the interests of business which generates the jobs, which generates the taxes, which generates the kind of wherewithal the governments have the ability to use. And so the Lincoln Club um, is able to maneuver between partisan organizations much differently than the organizations can do themselves. I was thinking back on the time before me when Pete Wilson had been governor for eight years and it was a golden age even though we had Bill Clinton in the White House. In 2000, in 1999, we lost Pete Wilson to Gray Davis and entered a very difficult time for California and by the end of the year, we had regained the White House with George W. Bush in a very difficult and close race. So uh, it was never easy, and uh, it was the best of times, it was the worst of times. I think the Lincoln Club represents a balance to the other interested constituencies in policy. Instead of leaving it to organizations like labor and others to constantly be involved in the political process, firsthand and, and directly as a member of the Lincoln Club weighing in on issues as a business person, not as a lobbyist or a hired um, director, but actually going and weighing in on these positions is very important and that the Lincoln Club allows you to do. And with Jack Templeton, Chris Niemeyer, and T.J. Zane, these were people who were political operatives who understood and thought about the game itself. And essentially the things that they have come up with, some of the things that we have done in this pre previous election that were successful in getting candidates um, elected are the kind of things that's innovation for uh, understanding what you can do within the political structure to win. Uh, the funniest thing I can remember actually is reviewing uh, some of my notes from the banquet at the end of my year. And I said that it used to be easy to be a Republican, but we were entering a period of change and uncertainty. And uh, as a, I think that that is, uh, it's true today as it was back then. After 2001, I, I was chair. When, uh, when we got together, we had, a, we had a retreat. And we asked the question, what are the big issues facing the country, facing the community and the region? And we sat around that day, Daryl Issa, uh, Roxana Fox, Bob Hertzka, many people, and agreed in a very short period of time that we needed to set a new direction for the club and for, in many ways, the values and beliefs that we had. We will focus on business issues, we will focus on education, and we will not deal with social issues. Those are personal, private, so there are many places you have as outlets to deal with those issues, but park them at the door when you come in the Lincoln Club. When I uh, completed my term, Mike Turk stepped up to the plate. And as many of you know, when you, when you meet Mike, 
Um, he is a little quiet, a little reserved, um, but he's a force to deal with. Um, he is, uh, has strong opinions, he has tremendous relationships, he has the net worth that he puts on the table to be able to make things happen. And I think during his tenure, while maybe at the beginning there was a, a thought process, maybe he's a little too quiet, I think what you saw is, you know, quiet water runs very deep. And what you saw with Mike was a tremendous leader that came forward and brought uh, you know, the powers to be to be able to do the things that we needed. He allowed, I think, TJ to do what he had to do while Mike was there uh, on, his, on his shoulder. And one of the things that I'd like us to see going forward is to expand into the, into the, uh, uh, into the ethnic groups, the minority population, to find those people whose beliefs are conservative, um, those people um, who believe that uh, working for a living is a good idea and paying taxes is okay, but not top of their list. San Diego Lincoln Club, happy birthday. Congratulations on 25 years of fabulous and inspiring political action and many, many more. To the Lincoln Club, uh, happy birthday. 25 is uh, the prime of your life. And uh, now we move into the uh, summertime and then autumn and then uh, someday we'll be in the winter and I hope when we're there uh, the Lincoln Club is still uh, providing great wisdom and great leadership to San Diego. Happy anniversary for the work that's been done over the last 25 years in trying to right side the politics of San Diego County um, in, in the right direction. Uh, for you folks that are here tonight as members I want to thank you for your support while I was uh, as chair and, and for Mike and, and for Tom going forward and most importantly, the folks that are here tonight that aren't members, uh, we need more members. We need a bigger army to solve the problems that we're going forward with. And so I would encourage you all to uh, pick up those uh, membership applications on the tables tonight because I know TJ is smarter than me and has already got them on the table for you. But uh, sign up tonight, become a member, and, it, and it's a great experience. I want to thank all of you who are here tonight and those who couldn't make it for your support and confidence in the Golden Eagle Club and the Lincoln Club over the last 25 years. Frankly, uh, you've made a very big difference. And uh, although uh, you may not have got the pat on the back that you truly deserve, I want to thank each and every one of you for what you've done for the organizations, the Golden Eagle Club and the Lincoln Club for 25 years. It's quite a record. The next 25 years offers challenges uh, that exceed our last 25 years. And I hope that uh, tonight uh, you will leave here with uh, a desire to continue your support uh, and confidence in the Lincoln Club. Thank you very much.